One of the things I've always admired about Apple's app design is that they're able to hide the things that you don't need to see when you don't need to see them. So Pages is an incredibly deep and configurable app that really lets you dive in and change everything down to the letter you're working on, to the paragraph, to the phrase, the sentence, and all that stuff. But you don't necessarily need to see that, and they don't clutter up the interface with it when you're not working with it. And that's pretty great because it enables you to be creative and think of the creative side of the documents you're working on and not necessarily the nitty-gritty technical when you don't need to see it. But that doesn't mean that it's not there. You've got a highly configurable interface, fonts and styles here, that are all located within your inspector. The inspector can be located in the upper right corner. You've got a format inspector and a document inspector. So if I click on the format inspector first, you'll see as I open it up, I now have the ability to do common things like change the font, underline, italicize, bold, change the colors, work with styles, adjust the spacing, and adjust bullets and lists, and it doesn't have to be globally. If I pick it um, without having anything selected, it'll just do from then on. So right now I'm about to type. If I choose a bold and underlined font, it doesn't bold and underline anything until I start typing. And of course, since I deleted that paragraph marker, you'll see that it emboldened and underlined the everything that was in that next line. So that's the individual, the format inspector. It can inspect the format of your documents. You can apply these changes post typings, of course. So I can just select something and I can use the shortcut command B to bold it or command U to underline it. But I can also just work one thing at a time over here and bold and italicize. So that allows you to inspect whatever you're working on. You can inspect the style you're about to type in or you can inspect a style that you've already typed. You've also got access to the layout, so columns and indents, tabs and borders, and you've got this more section where you can get really down to the nitty gritty with your publishing and you know work with hyphens, ligatures, all that great stuff. Now, in addition to inspecting the format of just some text that you've typed, you can also inspect the format of the entire document. So if you want to adjust your margins, um, account for a printer that you might be using, and work on sections, you can find that inside of the document inspector. So this inspector is going to be your best friend here in the upper right corner. It's located in a similar spot in the iOS app and the web apps as well.